Limit of a function e2 raised to 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 1. Substitute x to negative 1 so f of negative 1 is equal to 2e. Raised to t times negative 1 plus 4. 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. So e2 raised to negative 3 plus 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Therefore, f of negative 1 is equal to 2e or approximately 5.43656. Limit of a function ln times the quantity of x plus 7 as lim approaches to negative 6. Substitute x to negative 6. So, f of negative 6 is equal to ln times the quantity of negative 6 plus 7. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. So, therefore, f of negative 6 is equal to ln 1, which is 0. Now we have number 3. The limit of the function logarithmic of the quantity of 4x plus 1 with a base of 3 as x approaches to 2. Now we need to substitute the x to 2. So f of 2 is equal to logarithmic of 4 times 2 plus 1 with a base of 3. 4 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 9. To simplify logarithmic of 9 with a base of 3, we must use a table or scratch. 3 raised to 1 is 3, 3 raised to 2 is 9, 3 raised to 3 is 27. Since we get 9, take the exponent 2 on the base of 3. So the answer of logarithmic of 9 with the base of 3 is 2. For number 4, the limit of a function sine x as x approaches to 25 pi over 6. Again, we need to substitute the x to 25 pi over 6. Then limit of sine x as x approaches to 25 pi over 6 is equal to f of 25 pi over 6. So f of 25 pi over 6 is equal to sine 25 pi over 6. Now, convert the 25 pi over 6 to its coterminal angle pi over 6. Then simplify sine pi over 6 by using trigonometric value which is 1 half. So f of 25 pi pi over 6 is equal to 1 half. For number 5, the limit of the function second of x plus pi over 3 as x approaches to pi over 2. First, substitute the variable x to pi over 2. So limit of second x plus pi over 2 as x approaches to pi over 2 is equal to f of pi over 2. Now we have f of pi over 2 is equal to second pi over 2 plus pi over 3. We just substitute the pi over 2 to x to have pi over 2 plus pi over 3. Next, we have f of pi over 2 is equal to second of 3 pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 6. How? Just get the LCD of 2 and 3 which is 6. Then 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 times pi is 3 pi. So it is 3 pi over 6. Then same with pi over 3 which is 2 pi over 6. Then 3 pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6. By using trigonometric value again of second 5 pi over 6, it is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. Number 6. Limit of 7 raised to 2x minus 7 then minus 5 as x approaches to 3. The limit of 7 raises to 2x minus 7 then minus 5 as x approaches to 3 is equal to f of 3. So f of 3 is equal to 7 raises to 2 substitute x to 3 so times 3 minus 7 then minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 7 is equal to negative 1 then minus 5. Since 7 raises to negative 1 is equal to 1, 1, 7, or 1 over 7, we'll put 1 over 7 there, then change 5 to 35 over 7, because their LCD is 7. Then we'll have f of 3 is equal to 1 over 7 minus 35 over 7. So the answer should be f of 3 is equal to negative 
34 over 7. Number 7. Limit of 3 times 1 half raised to x plus 3 as x approaches to negative 6. So f of x should be equal to negative 6. So f of negative 6 is equal to 3 times 1 half raises to x then substitute x to negative 6 plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So 3 times 1 half raised to negative 3. We should find the reciprocal of 1 half which is 2 and, and negative 3 to 3. Then simplify 3 times 8 is 24. So the answer should be f of negative f of negative 6 is equal to 24. For number 8, the limit of a function 5 times the logarithmic of x minus 4 with a base of 2 as x approaches to 32. First, we substitute the value of x to 32, then the group logarithmic of 32 with the base of 2. Next is, change 32 as 2 raised to 5 so that it will cancel the logarithmic. Therefore, 5 times 5 minus 4 is equal to 21. And for the last number, number 9. The limit of the function 4 times the tangent of 3x minus 1 as x approaches to negative 5 pi over 12. Again, substitute the value of x to negative 5 pi over 12. Simplify, simplify the function of so we can get negative 5 pi over 4. Then according to trigonometric values, the tangent of negative 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 minus 1 is equal to negative 5 which is the final answer.